We begin tonight in Casey as residents there will now have to pay more in property taxes. Payton Lewis has a breakdown of the upcoming year's budget and why city leaders say they're collecting more money. A 4% raise for all city employees, public safety, and waste management topped the list for Casey's 2022-23 budget at Wednesday night's final reading. From the onset of COVID-19 and for the last three years, we have not raised that. However, we all have to understand the soaring inflation prices and supply chain issues. The city budget was $15.3 million last year, and the newly approved budget comes in at $16.7 million in general funds. And one of their main sources of revenue comes from property taxes. And while I do understand we do need a tax increase because everything is increased because of the cost of living and the pandemic, I would like us to consider how we convey the information in full transparency. For example, Casey homeowners currently pay $297 per year for a $138,000 home, but that number will now go up to $314. I took a look at other parts of the budget and found that although city council will not be getting raises this year, their team does have an allotted $13,000 for travel expenses, $5,000 set aside for a Christmas party for community relations and $6,000 for employee appreciation and award expenses. I asked City Councilman Hunter Socks about these additional costs and how the council is justifying the additional spending. It adds only mileage and a hotel. It's necessary for us to go be up to date on what is going on around the state and for us to further educate ourselves on things like municipal law and best practices, something like a Christmas party. It's important to make sure that our staff recognizes that we recognize them and all the great work that they do. The budget unanimously passed and will go into effect this week. Reporting in Casey, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. And the next city council meeting there is going to take place Tuesday, July 5th.